Marjorie Taylor Greene um, outdid herself yet again. She released one of the dumbest political ads I've ever seen. Nancy Pelosi is sneaking the Green New Deal into the $3.5 trillion budget. And in 2022, I'm going to blow away the Democrat socialist agenda. website below and sign up to win my 50 caliber unbelievable i mean that ad it almost is disrespectful and stereotypical towards her own voters like she thinks well obviously this is what you idiots like right yeehaw i'm gonna blow some stuff up i got a gun y'all like guns i like guns i got guns yeah guns Woo! trigger the libs hate the libs i love the guns blowing stuff up Yeehaw! Like that's it's, it's such it's pandering nonsense and it's pandering to the stereotype of like a hillbilly or a redneck Republican base voter. God, it's terrible. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to take away from that, but just the lies are are too much. The Nancy Pelosi is sneaking the Green New Deal into the 3.5 trillion dollar budget bill. That's totally made up. Totally made up. Complete BS. I mean, are they saying literally any climate provisions at all are the Green New Deal? No matter how mild, no matter how watered down, no matter how much they're half measures, oh, that's all the Green New Deal. I mean, maybe that is how they would argue uh, that they would argue that that's what it means, but that's not true. It's not even close to true. But they don't even care. Like, I don't even know why I bother doing these segments and laying that out. She doesn't care. She's playing a role. She has her narrative. She says, I'm going to blow away the Democrats' socialist agenda. You don't have to blow it away. It doesn't exist. There is no Democratic socialist agenda. You can barely call it social democracy. Now, I like the $3.5 trillion bill. It's got a lot of good stuff in there. But yeah, it's, at best, it's social democratic. At best. But we're going to blow away the Democrats' socialist agenda. By the way, poll the country on those specific provisions in the bill. Everyone is popular. Even among Republicans. A lot of the provisions are popular, if not most of the provisions. I mean, you talk stuff like child care, universal pre-K, raising taxes on the rich. In some polls, more Republicans want to raise taxes on the rich than don't. But what does she do? Sum it all up. We're gonna blow away the Democrat social agenda. Look, loud noises, big explosions, gun, gun. I got a gun. I got a gun. You idiots like guns, right? I got guns. It's pandering nonsense, man. Imagine building a political worldview and it's all based on slogans that's marjorie taylor green she was created in a lab to be a, a a stereotype of the low information voter i really think this is even this is even condescending to her own supporters you know like what you think that's that's all you need to do in order to get the votes Make a bunch of idiots clap like seals and go gun i like gun gun good i like gun I like gun. I like explosion. Democrats bad. God damn it. That's the worst ad ever. I, and I'll just say this. I don't agree with the idea because some people are going to say, oh my God, this is encouraging violence. No. No. I mean, there are plenty of people who are far right who are borderline violent and hanging on by a thread right now anyway, but I don't think a Marjorie Taylor ad doing this is going to push them over the edge. Um, but I will say that if, if you reverse the roles and there was some equal and opposite Democratic ad that had something like this, the right would be screaming bloody murder and saying, oh my God, you're encouraging violence. So, I don't think this really encourages violence. I just think it's stupid. I just think it's dumb. And I think she really shows her cards here in this sense. Ultimately, she's nothing but culture war grievance. That's it. And I, I can't... I have to get this message through to people. If you're not focusing more on economics and foreign policy than on the culture war, you're just not doing politics seriously. You're not. You're falling for the diversions and going down the path of the diversions. And that's pathetic. And that's what she is. She's nothing but culture war grievance manifested into a politician. And so it's unserious and it's dumb. And uh, it's tribal. It's partisan. It's nonsense. And expect to see a lot more Marjorie Taylor Greens in the future because she's not going to be the only one.